for years in Zimbabwe, you could tell someone, I'm creating a Zimbabwean superhero, and they would literally laugh at you there and then. You could have a life, you know, career in comedy just using that one line. And it was because it was so far-fetched to see a powerful Zimbabwean superhero who the world respects and looks up to. I did want to start drawing when I was a kid and I started very, very, very early in life. My parents were supportive years later. At first, they thought I was just plain crazy, which is understandable. They're African parents. They thought I was throwing my life away. There would be no hope for me. My mom used to tear up my drawings, say, get serious, learn your math. And uh, I persisted and they realized that, hey, you know what? We don't have the next Gray's anatomy doctor on our hands. <laughs> we might as well work with this kid as he is. And uh, they got on the bandwagon <laughs> of doing cartoons and animation. So yeah, I'm happy about that. From a young age, it was just the desire to make something cool, just cool. Then I grew up and I thought, hey, I'm writing so many stories and I'm not in any of them. Um, at least anyone like me is not in the stories I'm writing. They're very cool, but I'm not there. So then I changed my position to say, I need to not just make cool stuff, but make stuff that puts other people in there who aren't being recognized at this point in time. And for me, it was mostly Africans because I didn't see many Africans in the stories. You can only be what you can see yourself being. So if you don't see it in front of you, it's very hard to even imagine it. The same could be extended to space. There's no pictorial image of a Zimbabwean astronaut. There's, there's no representation of it. So without that picture, it doesn't happen. I'd like to think like things like cell phones today are because we saw them in Star Trek a long time ago. Someone was inspired enough to say, that's a really great idea, I'm sure I could make that. And they went and made it, but also because they saw someone like them making it. So that representation, it, it determines our future. Just really seeing yourself in the future will make you make the future. I love Afrofuturism, it's very exciting. My understanding of it is a projection of African people in the future that they could possibly be. Whether that future is represented in uh, sci-fi for 2055 or in a futurism of modern day today, but with African people in it. Um, that's how I see Afrofuturism. Very exciting and I'd say some of my work is Afrofuturistic. I would like Zimbabwean creativity to be seen world over. And not just Zimbabwean, I'd like all African creativity to be accessible, at the very least accessible, world over that. It is part of the global discourse. It's part of the mix of what we call creativity in the world. Comics Post started when I was lecturing animation at a brand new college uh, in Zimbabwe. And we said, we're gonna try and uplift every local artist that we can find. We'll give you a platform, we'll find the money, we'll do whatever we can. It's now seven years doing the con and getting it growing every year. Initially when we started there were maybe three or four artists who were creating comic books like myself and now we've got running series that have gone on for the last five six years and done by totally new people. I do deal with a lot of creatives asking me how do I protect my work, how do I get it out there, how do I prevent one of the big guys from taking my stuff from me and then making money and not including me. There's a lot of questions about that and many creatives stay in their bedroom for fear of just that. So intellectual property protection to me is being able to safeguard what you've created and be able to also result in remuneration for yourself. I got into art because I simply loved it. I, I could tell stories and telling stories, the stories that were in my mind was what brought me to life. And then when I realized that my, those same stories that I used to watch on TV shaped how I think, I thought it was a responsibility of my own to help help the future generations also think in a positive way that impacts the world and I want a better world. <laughs> <laughs>